Member from Illinois is now recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in opposition to H.J. Res. 98. Last year, the administration took an important step to protect workers' rights by issuing an updated joint employer rule. Unfortunately, House Republicans are now trying to reverse the strong standard. My colleagues across the aisle are making misleading claims today about the joint employer standard, arguing incorrectly about the impact on small business franchises. Now, let me be clear. The joint employer issue is simply about whether or not an employer is obligated to come to the bargaining table. I've heard from so many working families across central and northwestern Illinois who feel that they're left behind. Like the government does not stand for them as they work paycheck to paycheck, trying to do the right thing for themselves and their families. All the while, big corporations automate jobs, misclassify workers, all to save a quick buck while reporting record profits and forgetting whose labor got them to the positions of success in the first place. As a member of the Congressional Labor Caucus, I believe that when workers come together to bargain for their wages, for good benefits, for safe workplaces, then every entity that has control over these conditions should be at the table and it's required by law. And that's exactly what the Biden administration's joint employer does. The strong standard overturns the previous administration's rule, which allowed corporations to easily outsource jobs so that they could evade responsibility and undermine organized labor. We cannot allow House Republicans to undermine workers in this country by overturning the National Labor Relations Board's joint employer standard. To the hardworking people in my district, let me be clear. As your member in Congress, I will always stand on the side of workers and fight for your protection. The gentleman's time has expired. And I urge my colleagues to vote against this bill. The 